Standing on the promises Living by faith Standing on the word of God Just follow Christ And he'll show you the way God's people just follow Christ And he'll show you the way this is Pastor Verlin Williams of the Union Baptist Church in White Plains, New York. Our scripture for today is found in the book of James, chapter 2, verses 8 through 13 from the New King James Version. This is what it says. If you really fulfill the royal law according to the scripture, you shall love your neighbor as yourself, you do well. But if you show partiality, you commit sin and are convicted by the law as transgressors. For whoever shall keep the whole law and yet stumble in one point, he is guilty of all. For he who said do not commit adultery also said do not murder. Now if you do not commit adultery, but you do murder, you have become a transgressor of the law. So speak and so do as those who will be judged by the law of liberty. For judgment is without mercy to the one who has shown no mercy. Mercy triumphs over judgment. This is the word of God. I want to back into this verse today. Um... I want to remind us that James is addressing in this letter those of us who have believed in the Lord Jesus Christ. We are the church, or some may call us the community of faith. And this community is, it is made up of all people everywhere on the planet who have been redeemed by the sacrifice that Jesus made. The traditional way of saying that is have we've been redeemed by the blood. We are all saved by the grace of God. And that of course means that not one of us have been saved by our own virtues or potentiality or anything else, but the grace of God. As a matter of fact, the Bible says that we are saved by grace through faith and not of works, so no one can boast. When we believed, we were redeemed, we are saved by grace, and when we believed, the Holy Spirit took a permanent residency in our heart. Now, this act of God upon our lives has transforming power. While we are not yet perfected because we are still in the physical body, we have become new creations in Christ Jesus. Second Corinthians chapter 5, verse 15 says, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. End quote. Before God saved us, God appointed for each one of us a race and ethnicity. Before we came to Christ, we had cultural particularities. We had a heritage, nationality. We had family and all of the things that make us human beings. When we were saved, we became new creations in Christ. And we come to Christ with our race, ethnicity, our cultural particularities, our nationality, and all of that. But our new nature causes us to understand our differences differently. Because we're saved, we see ourselves and others from God's point of view, which is without partiality, without judgment, without racism, without prejudice. Listen to how the Apostle Paul describes our newness in Galatians chapter 3, verses 26 through 28 from the New Living Translation. This is what it says. For you are all children of God through faith in Jesus Christ. You get that? The same family. 
It says, and all who have been united with Christ in baptism have put on Christ like putting on new clothes. There is no longer Jew or Gentile, nationalities put aside, slave or free, social standing put aside, male or female, sexuality put aside. For you are all one in Christ Jesus, In the quote. The Lord Jesus, by his death on the cross, accomplished our redemption. We are reconciled to God and we are restored from our fallenness. We became the children of God. We are united with Christ. We are equally human in the presence of our creator. Now that being said, if anyone thinks that the color of his skin or his nationality or ethnicity or amount of money or resources that he had or his education or anything else makes him better than someone else, he is just plain wrong. Every believer is saved by grace and gifted by God to be the blessing, to be a blessing to the community of faith, which God's also, with the Bible, also calls the body of Christ. So in Christ, there are no very important people. There are no superstars. And when we forget that, and exalt ourselves or judge others, then we sin. To think those who think that they um, are better are wrong. And to those who think a light thing to be prejudiced or racist or elitist or snobbish or boastful or proud or arrogant, James says that this sin damages your relationship with God. It doesn't matter who you are to be partial, to show preference to people for any reason, places you outside of God's will and purpose for your life. So be gracious as God has been gracious to you. Be generous as God has been generous to you. Be kind. The fruit of the Spirit is kindness, gentleness, love, peace, patience, self-control, etc., I close with the text for today. Listen to what it says from the New Living Translation, James 2, 8 through 13, New Living Translation. Yes, indeed, it is good when you obey the royal law as found in the scriptures, love your neighbor as yourself. But if you favor some people over others, you are committing a sin. You are guilty of breaking the law. For the person who keeps all of the laws except one is as guilty as a person who has broken all of God's laws. For the same God who said you must not commit adultery also said you must not murder. So if you murder someone but do not commit adultery, you have still broken the law. So whatever you do, remember that you will be judged by the law that sets you free. Now that's the law. But here's the good news. Here is grace. There will be no mercy for those who have not shown mercy to other. But if you have been merciful, God will be merciful when he judges you. Amen. Let us pray. God, our Father, we thank you for this lesson. We ask that you will forgive us for our prejudice. Forgive us if we, when we think ourselves better and think others lower for we are all created in your image and we are all your children. We all bow before you because you alone are God. In Jesus Christ we pray, amen. Victorious people Growing, going, and giving Victorious people Standing on the promises